EcoBoost came in for a meth injection kit. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. It's this nice 2015 EcoBoost. Gonna be adding a stage one meth injection by snow. Similar to what I have on my cars and they got their you know X4 BDX you know tuner so I'll update you guys on the whole process all right so we got all the parts I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the nozzle it's the nozzle holder right here we're gonna be using a uh, number five which is uh, 375 milliliters per minute nozzle these are the fittings that go on the line, the crush fittings, make sure no leaks, and here's the snow check valve. So we're going to be using this fuse, relays, tank, not much else to it. Um, let's get started. Alright, so tap the hole for the level sensor putting the sensor in right now and that should be that already got those sealed up all right so intake has to come off uh, the air filter assembly and oh shit almost fell there we're gonna have to take out this pipe right here which is the charge pipe coming right to the throttle body Alright, so I tap the hole for the nozzle. I'm gonna use a 8 inch uh, MPT 27 thread. Uh, let me see if I can place this here. Thread it nicely all the way through. back with it to clean it up and you want to get out all the plastic debris I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out with some pressure there the air compressor make sure we ain't got no uh, plastic debris in there and it should be good um, I will post the location of the tank in a little bit as soon as I find out where I want to put it on got all the clips to remove this cover I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off Let's see it's all right here Probably going to be putting the tank accessible by the grill area. Got all the clips here. Nozzle is on. So let me put this over here. Looks like. Hmm. Take these plastics off, and probably the grill is have, it's gonna have to come out. Oh yeah, there's some space here. I just don't want to block the airflow to the radiators. But I was looking for another spot to put it on, and there really isn't much clean space to where we can put it on. So, I'm gonna have to put it on behind the grill. Yeah. Could put it under somewhere, but it'll probably not be as accessible to the owner as he wants it. So, this might be the best location. Let me remove the grill and uh, I'll continue the video in a little bit. 
All right, so grill is off, and we're gonna use this space to add the, excuse me, uh, the reservoir for our meth. Grill is out of the way. <clears throat> so, I want to do something to where our fill can still be accessed. Hmm. So maybe mount it and drill out the grill to where one of these allows us to access the the tank. Hmm. Okay. All right, so we're gonna fit the the tank behind the grill. So I gotta remove some of these fins so that it can, you know, fit in there. And I'm gonna drill here so that the filler neck comes out on the grill and it's really accessible. Should be pretty good, except for the fact that I need to remove some of these to be able to put the tank in here. So that's gonna be the next thing. I'll update once I mounted the tank and I'll probably make the hole for the filler neck. All right, so I went ahead and uh, made some aluminum brackets. Had to cut this area, you know, to make sure the bottleneck was accessible. And it's gonna get covered up with this. So this will only get a small little hole to access the actual cap and I'm going to put on the okay I'm gonna drill in the brackets so that we can you know drill these to the top and hold it on have it secured nicely uh, since there's nothing to you know bolt it to so the best thing is making some brackets and bolting the brackets to the top grill. So that's what's up right now. After that, then I can mount the pump. The pump will be pretty easy because you know I can put it anywhere under the under the truck. Uh, and that's basically it. Just plumb the lines, which will be pretty damn easy. And that's that. I'll update you guys once I got the tank mounted and maybe the pump mounted as well. All right, we're back. So just wanted to show that, you know, the brackets are mounted. I used some shorter self tabs. The kit came with a bunch of long self tabs, but you know, maybe like two inch, two and a half inch, which was way too long. So I decided to use these and I put some, uh, some nuts on the back just to secure it just to make sure it goes nowhere so now let me drill the top so that i can mount it already and we'll get going with that all right so finally mounted the tank so it's gonna sit right there right behind the grill and the cap is still gonna be accessible so that's that all right so quick update pump is already mounted you can see it there hold on let me get some light get my phone grab some light so the pump is already mounted right there the lines are already ran i still need to do the, the wiring we got the tank right there. So it's gonna be entry point. We still need the, the cover that goes on top of this. And got the check valve already plumbed up. <coughs> got the check valve already. Just gotta plug it into the, the nozzle. 
and do a little you know routing nice routing so it doesn't catch on to anything should go right there all right it's time to do the wiring now uh already filled the system and checked for leaks so we have no leaks full of meth already Nozzle's plumbed up. Nozzle's plumbed up. Everything's ran. Everything's good. Just need to put this back. Put everything back together and do the wiring. Quick update. Things are going back together. So this is the final product for the tank location. So as you can see, it's easily accessible. It's already full of meth. This was a pain in the ass to get done. But it's done already, so that's the good thing. Uh, I will button everything up in a little bit. I still got two more wires to do. Uh, grounds, pump, the... Uh, battery power is already set up. I just got to do the LEDs for the uh, low fluid for the floater and the uh, indicator for when the meth is actually engaged. So that's all I need. And of course find the little boost line vacuum line so I can tee onto and uh, put the switch on there the pressure switch Ugh, this was a lot more work than I thought it would be but oh well All right, so it's done. Uh, Purge the pump to get rid of all the air. And just, you know, before I close it up, testing it. System working. Perfect. Let me wire loom those two wires and plug them into the boost switch. And we're good. We're good to go. That ended perfect. Everything else is good. Already cleaned it up. It's a beautiful morning and this baby is done. Check out that tank. Oh yeah.
EcoBeast EcoBoost 3.5 liter and I believe this is a 2015 Nice and clean. Oh yeah. You know what? Let me get the ladder because I can't even reach. Boom. Check that out. you guys nozzle and everything over here so you can see the check valve right there got the line running down and we got the nozzle right over here as you can see it's right there everything's good perfect check these like it belongs there so it's the first one I ever do but it came out pretty good pretty damn good the location is very accessible very accessible and it looks like it was from the truck you know looks very factory you know, since you got a little hole over here and you got you know, a little bit going on you know, I've got to clean this a little bit, clean the grime, get that stuff cleaned out. That way, it's nice and clean.